Nyansa po hoi yesane no bagwimba enne eya dashron kokura e ma asantiman enne e na ewiase afana nyina eku aye from ekowas ana se common word for e kambo mu e ba besra asantehene omo ne asantehene e ba e bedi ehiamu na omo bedi ehiamu no nananom e nyina e ba da bia maka jose asante e ye oman a ehye oman mu oman a ehye oman ganna mu da bia se maka jose asante nko ana de ne fa ho de tu ho Emma gan and yan if I would be, and then an animal cook dam and a woman I see. And ne, that animal say, you know, a smina in a you who know Tepahine, you who know Adan Krenahine, you who know Piabo Domine, you who naman pohine, and naman pohine, the general Mukasama Santa Hine, you who now bant my hine, that be a mecacha who says, Mudinian support here, Jansa over Father Panisan.
gentlemen, any moment from now, His Royal Majesty Otunfo Osei Tutu the second, the pillar of peace, and the king of Asante, who will be arriving. And the king comes along with a huge entourage. Yes, um, you can say the king and his royal entourage are uh, ushering themselves uh, to this level field, level ground. Leading them is uh, a man with some herbs in a pan. He's carrying it without supporting it with a hand. What does this represent? Sumangpa, it has to do with the spirituality, the herbal and other things of the king. He protects them and you see also some, uh, some people with a bunch of keys and the horn blowers. Wherever you go, in any big event, when you hear this sound, then you know that the great king of Asante is coming. It's a special day for the king. Yes, the horn blowers. Usually there are seven of them. It's a huge entourage, very colorful. Such a rich splendor of the Asante culture and history. Yes. You can hear the horn being blown. Yes, all these people you see are what to do very established people. But they serve the king in this court. Yes. His Majesty, the King of Asante, is riding in power. Yes. And you see, there you are.
of the people and chiefs of the Ashanti Kingdom. It is so gratifying and delightful to have various parliamentarians across the face of the globe to witness our rich culture, our traditions and customs here in the cultural capital. is also pleased to have a bit of the delegation from across the world. Yeah. This is television, the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation, GTV Live. And as our tradition demands, anytime His Majesty Eight. 
Poetry Association are here at the Mashia Palace to pay respect, oh, courtesy to his very beautiful Osei the fight Thank you. 
like the legislative presence of some members of parliament and also members of the CPA. The Honorable Member of Parliament for Asante Achimnov is the Chairman of the Parliamentary Committee on the Constitutional, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs, Honorable Kwame Ajibadu MG. Also like to recognize the presence of the Member of Parliament for Kwadaso and the Chairman of the Committee on Transport, Protocol and Security, Honorable Kwame British, British are buying a colony. No, in your independence, in your Kambu, your friend could be Commonwealth. Now, move a man, my who won in your parliament, you will cool the cool a few weeks. In shame, why a yen affair for your bayern or Ghana. Now, that Roma would be answered that and take your insane mono, be a old baby up a set. Obechia <laughs> Said the Uno, no. Parliament to four, if you are singing, be one. Speaker for a bye, be a yenian, sir. And may be a speaker, he may say, Minio, many inform him. And I'm going to say, Good man, I won't sell money. Above fear, sweet. Young friends, a Uno, and a bar. A bye, a gra, a brunin, sir. A horror, a horror, a horror. I say, and Ina kewabum a parliament of Mosawo, Sebe, Convent Parliamentarians, or do we go to Mabamu? And then we are to be our way in Shimu, now Finsham, no more than Wakana. The Namsan Wadomo grew on what's so Hindi can, and maybe our Hindi Hoko grew with the Sasha Tunnel, and then Ominaba said they never said they are Santa Hindi City. About what Asante represents and how Asante and Nibi Kumasi came about. But they were all excited for the opportunity to take hands with His Majesty the Food Court. We are honored and we also are grateful for the cultural display of all other Nananum. Today, many of them are seen for the first time and are asking me, is that how we used to dress all the time? And I'll explain that yes. This is a Sante. This is how we use to dress. Tananum, this is a big opportunity for us to showcase um, Ghana and the part of Ghana to the rest of the world. For us, it is an opportunity also for the rest of the world to see what Ghana is. These are all representatives of other country citizens and members of parliament. And this opportunity will travel with them back to their respective countries. May I also inform members that tomorrow the CPA program itself will be formally inaugurated. The president will visit us, will join us to formally um, introduce the program. There are several workshops of all other things, including the environment, people with disability, and all kinds of things. If any of you happens to be Master, I, sorry, to be in Accra, may I take this opportunity to invite you to participate in the workshop organized by CPA to discuss all things we are bothering on our life 
our sustainable sustainability and how to perfect our life in the world. On behalf of the Parliament of Ghana, on behalf of my colleague members of Parliament, and on behalf of Mr. Speaker, once again, we thank you, Nana, for the opportunity to shake hands with you and for this service. Thank you. The first Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Honorable Joseph Osei Musu, MP Obekwa. Now, you have seen visually the traditional ornaments of the Ashanti culture. It's now time to experience our dance, which has symbolic and historical significance. And I'd like to invite my brother Patrick, who is from the center, from the cultural center. Kumase is a research fellow, and he's the head of research of Center for National Culture in Kumase. Patrick will take us through what they mean by Adwa, what they mean by Kete, what they mean by Sichi, what they mean by Dilsu, and all the symbolism surrounding our dances. to speak on behalf of His Majesty.
I graciously extend the golden arm of handshake from Our Majesty King of Safety to. And here I am, the extension of the golden handshake to you all, Nananum and attendants from Asantiman. And then, of course, to our gracious visitors who come far and near, representing the Commonwealth Association of Parliamentarians. Once again, in the name and on behalf of our gracious majesty, Kenos 82 the second, I graciously and voluntarily welcome you all to the esteemed Golden State of Kumasi of Asante Kingdom. The Right Honourable Deputy Speaker of Parliament, here representing the Speaker of Parliament of Ghana. And then, of course, other speakers and parliamentarians from the Commonwealth Member States here assembled. Nananum, the Honourable Ashanti Regional Minister, or his representative, the Mayor of Kumasi. And then, of course, our own sons and daughters constituting the media. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to this cultural event, which has been organized in honor of our visiting Commonwealth parliamentarians. I wish to express my sincere appreciation and gratitude to the Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament. Alban Sumala Kingsford Buckwing and his Commonwealth colleagues for taking time to visit us in Kumasi and Manjia Palace, the seat of the Asante Kingdom, as part of the events planned for the 66th meeting of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Conference, known as CPC in Accra from 30th September to 6th October. This year of our Lord, 2023. As you all know, Ghana has been an active, committed, and dedicated member of the Commonwealth since it attained its independence from the British colonial rule in March 1957. Being honored with the hosting of a meeting of such importance is, in my humble opinion, eloquent testimony to be recognition and acknowledgement of the indelible positive role that Ghana has played and continues to play in the affairs of Commonwealth. As an international association embracing a variety of states, large, medium and small, rich, emerging and developing, landlocked islands and coastal states, multi-ethnic and multicultural. It is my considered view that if we stick together and work together in pursuit of our common values and aspirations, the Commonwealth can make a difference. And indeed, it has been making a difference and have impact in the world. With a combined population of about 2.5 billion, a third of the world's population, if we continue to act in concert with other like-minded countries and groups, we stand a better chance of finding lasting solutions to some of the gargantuan problems facing the international community, like the current issues emanating from migration, Terrorism, those of us along the West Coast, we've been feeling the impact through the air from what is pertaining. Top of Mali, middle of Sahara Desert. 
food scarcity, and particularly climate change, which poses a tangential threat to some member states of the Commonwealth. I am informed that the Accra meeting has fortuitously coincided with the 10th anniversary of the adoption of the Commonwealth Charter, which encapsulates the values and principles that all Commonwealth countries should cherish and espouse. The theme of the meeting, quote, the Commonwealth Charter, 10 years old, values and principles for Parliament to uphold, quotation closes, is therefore adapt and provides you with a propitious opportunity to take stock of the achievements and failures in the implementation of the Charter so far, and also consider other pressing issues pertinent to the healthy growth and evolution of our esteemed Commonwealth Parliamentary Association and the Commonwealth as a whole. Needless to say that in your capacity as eminent legislators, you have a golden chance and the onerous responsibility to contribute to the enhancement of democracy and democratic practices in our respective communities. And also countries. I'm confident that you will remain focused and work tirelessly towards the achievement of this noble objective. I urge you to redouble your efforts and re-energize yourselves and work assiduously to utilize all the institutions of the Commonwealth in consonance with your mandate in order to strengthen and cement the democratic dispensation and also promote gender equality, invoke and include the poor, the marginalized, and the vulnerable, as well as our teaming youth in your collective search for practical and pragmatic measures that will endure to the benefit of all sessions of our communities. This is my humble view. In my humble view, will be one of the most effective measures in promoting sustained and sustainable development of our countries. Asantema joins me in wishing you success in your deliberations at the Accra meeting. We wish you a joyous and memorable stay in Kumasi and Ghana. Once again, thank you for your gracious visit to our golden kingdom, and God bless us all. Thank you. In the name of Putin.
Sebedi akone bakuin bodi akedi. Nese kofin roni ya bi entime nyeni muampata na wu ya diya.